On Saturday, we go to the polls and you're being asked to change our constitution to recognise explicitly and concretely for the first time the rights of children in the Irish constitution. I know many of you are still making up your mind. I've decided I'm voting yes. I'm voting yes in the full knowledge that the state has historically failed children, industrial schools, Magdalen laundries. We know the story. I'm voting yes, knowing full well that the state continues to fail children. Vast numbers live in poverty. We know about the deaths in state care. But I'm voting yes because I believe we need to turn a new page. Many of you don't trust the state. I understand that particularly with your children. But this isn't about trusting the state, this is about compelling the state. It's about the citizens telling the state and whatever government that they must honour the rights of children and that we will tolerate no pretext, no alibi as to why they did not intervene where children were in danger. I'm a parent myself, I have two young children and like everyone else I understand the value of the family and the huge importance of the rights of parents because we are in the final analysis the greatest champions for our children. Our rights as parents, our rights as families are clearly stated in the constitution and protected and that will not change. I don't believe that we should punish children for the failures of the state. I don't believe that we should let the state off the hook. This referendum, if passed, will be just the first page in a new chapter, a new chapter of an Ireland that truly cherishes children and protects them. A new chapter where citizens demand of their elected representatives and governments that they honour children, not just in words in a constitution, but by their deeds. So I'm asking you to vote yes, not because this is the end point in child protection, but because I believe it can mark a new beginning.